UV texture editor. Now select again the faces uh, we have already selected in previous steps. Right click, select all, and after that, right click, select faces, and select four of the faces for our label now and assign a new material on these faces right clicking on the faces uh, so choose the form and go to the attribute editor import the file here from the folder browse your file and choose the file label tiff and open it up in your bottle so look your bottle here that uh, if uh, your label is correct, yes it is correct, uh, but it is a little bit inside the faces, but uh, we, uh, we, selected, we selected the faces for expanded, but the label is a little bit uh, smaller than our faces. So we can adjust this problem in UV Texture Editor. Go to the UV Texture Editor and uh, display the image but we shall have to get the proje projection again and uh, select the faces four of the faces and go to the polygon UVs and planar mapping in this way we can adjust from here and uh, after that we can adjust from here so It is very easy because you know that we will adjust the CVs, uh, adjust the UVs on this image in this way, uh, manually or with the other methods. So I have adjusted with the pause of my camera these uh, UVs in better position than before. Minimize the UV texture editor and now our label is looking like this and it is beautiful but our bottle is not smoother and uh, now we have need to smooth again our bottle to change it uh, again into the subdivide, subdivision, select it and go to the modify and, uh, and convert it uh, from subdivide to, uh, from polygon to subdivide in reset settings, uh, go to the reset settings and reset it and create its, uh, it into the subdivision. It is now smoother but uh, if uh, we again convert it into poly or nerves, we can get its more smoothness. We again go to the modify and convert it, subdivide to the poly, and uh, with the we reset the settings and we convert it again. In this way, we have two bottles. Uh, we need to see here. This is a poly. This is poly to subdivide and this is our first nerves bottle. So we delete these two bottles and now we have a bottle with the transformation. We can change the, it's, uh, we can fetch it into the origin. Now it looks like that. We can smooth again it uh, from the polygon smooth option and in this way our bottle is now more smoother. So go to the layer editor and visible your plane ground in this way increase the size of uh, plane now we need to add the lights in our scene. 
go to the create menu and create light point light with reset settings and uh, create a point light and move it up a little bit uh, for over the head of the bottle approximately here and again go to the closer view and then create another light uh, create light directional light with reset settings create a directional light and change its direction with the modify transformation tools and show manipulator tool this is the uh, here is our light and uh, our directional light and here is our pivot of directional light which is telling us the direction of the light in this way we have two lights so in this way now we can press the button 7 on keyboard and we see the one image for the intensity of light after the image uh, rendering we can adjust the intensity the light is perfect approximately now we need to make our uh, glossy, more glossy uh, ray tracing and we now need to add some ray tracing in our directional light uh, and shadow ray tracing is a kind of shadow go to the directional lights attributes and scroll down and uh, uh, here is the shadows go to beneath the show shadow color beneath the depth map shadow go to the ray tracing shadow attribute use ray trace shadow in this way in render setting uh, change the uh, in uh, Maya software tab under the Maya software tab change the quality into the production quality and uh, change the ray trace quality checked from the unchecked position in this way ray tracing quality is now checked close the global setting of the render and now render the image uh, we have a good look of a bottle ray traced image we have front view and so we are not uh, we can we are not able to see the shadow which is uh, hidden uh, in, in the back of behind the bottle if we have another render scene we can see the shadow of ray tracing and now in front of us we are sh we are watching the ray tracing in into bottle ray tracing of the floor the, that's called the ray tracing and uh, the glassiness of bottle now is uh, more beautiful than before I got another shot of rendering uh, with the pausing the camera and now shadow of our bottle on this floor and uh, this is a ray traced shadow in this way we have completed our texturing rendering and uh, mapping lesson <laughs>